Wow, my wigger. Wagwan. Stuff's been going down in the hood about narrative conflict. Yeah, that's smoked up wigger. Wrap that in for ho. Oh. Lay down a messy beat for me, brother. Claude Levi Strauss suggested that all narratives had to be driven forward by conflict that was caused by a series of opposing forces. He called this the theory of binary opposition, and it is used to describe how each main force in a narrative has its equal and opposite. Analyzing a narrative means identifying these opposing forces and understanding how the conflict between them will drive the narrative on until, finally, some sort of balance or resolution is achieved. Right, but I was watching this show called Hidden last night, which is sicker than my bowels after a curry. How does this show relate to it? Each narrative has an equal and opposite. For example, in the TV program Hidden, they use the theory of binary opposition, which is the opposites of things, for example, light and dark, poverty and wealth, good and bad. They use this to create a motive for the audience to like and dislike characters. They also use this to give you an idea for what's happening in a certain situation. And that's a lot to remember. Yes, but don't forget you have been deconstructing narratives since before you could read. Think of all those bedtime stories. Fairy tales are an excellent demonstration of the patterns and rules of narratives, and the main theorists developed their ideas from the study of fairy and folk tales across different cultures. All the theorists do is provide a formal framework for describing how you already understand the meaning and significance of a narrative. Peace out, my brother from another mother.